So in this segment, let's talk about the costs, the cost aspects. When we run an inventory policy on a continuous review basis with dynamic demand reflected by probabilistic distributions like normal distributions. So we talked about order quantity following EOQ formula. We talked about reorder point um, calculated from having identified the demand distribution during lead time and another input called the service level. Yeah, we worked that out. Now the question is, what is our cost? Okay. So to talk about our cost, we will fall back a little bit on our discussion on EOQ formula, where we said that the total cost is going to be the sum total of the annual, uh, annual. everything is annual here, all the costs, annual setup cost, plus annual holding cost, plus one more term, right? And that is the annual safety stock holding cost. So holding cost for cycle stock, just to differentiate between the two, and holding cost for safety stock. Okay, now for the first two terms, they are simply estimate, estimated from the EOQ formula yeah, because we have setup cost and setup cost, while the setup cost S is constant, the number of triangles in a, in a year can vary depending on whether we have more triangles or less triangles. Remember, one triangle is one uh, order, it's due to one order and so it will incur one S. So if we have five triangles, then we have five S in a year. But the five is never guaranteed, right? Uh, because the the base of the triangle can stretch out a bit, can shrink a bit, but it won't go to too far a difference. So it, it, will, it shouldn't be zero because you, you should be selling, uh, promoting your business. And it wouldn't be infinitely many because there are just 365 days. And even if you're selling in by the seconds, it wouldn't be infinite as well. So, um, what we have from the EOQ analysis was that the formula was D over uh, Q, the order quantity, which was fixed yeah, as the number of orders in a year. So that remains true. That remains true. Except because capital D, the annual demand, is going to be made up from daily demand, little d, so it is going to be having a distribution. In other words, capital D will be probabilistic. So we're going to sort of uh, make it more technically correct by saying that it is the average right, of the annual demand. So one year we may be selling um, 6,000 tires. Another year we may be selling 6,500 tires. Yet another year could be 5,800 tires. So it fluctuates, but there is some sense that it is at the 6,000 level, not at the 600 level, for example, right? So we can take the average and plug in to estimate our, our average total annual cost of holding the inventory. Next, we have the cycle stock, and we talked about holding the, uh, using H to multiply by the average inventory level. That much remains true. That much remains true, right? Because we were saying that although the triangles zigzag and have staircases and all that, let's approximate the staircases with smooth lines. Let's standardize or, or make constant the, the demand so that um, the triangles will have equal base. With equal height and equal base, you basically are talking about uh, the same analysis as the EOQ with constant daily demand. So, so we are back to this formula again. And we have a new term that is new or peculiar to uh, models with dynamic demand simply because we have this safety stock, right? To allow us to control the, the probability of uh, stock out or else service level. So that part is going to be uh, calculated from, first of all, each safety stock tire, our inventory item will incur the same holding cost per unit per year because each safety stock tire is just like any other tire. If you keep $10 in your piggy bank, just in case, right? 
just in case you need more money, the, so the demand for money exceeds your average demand. Uh, your dollar in the piggy bank is the same as any other dollars you have. Yeah, so it's the same uh, dollar, it's the same holding cost. It will incur the same holding cost. Um, the question is, what is the average level of inventory for safety stock? Now, that part is not as difficult because we hold Z times Sigma DL number of tires almost throughout the year. So the average of a constant is the constant itself, which means that if we have Z times Sigma DL number of tires in our safety stock, our piggy bank, uh, we are going to ignore the occasional borrowing and uh, the frequency of borrowing. So sometimes we may have one or two out of many cycles, sometimes quite frequent. But even if we borrow frequently from our safety stock, it is the case that it will be limited to the few days of lead time. So in other words, the inverted triangle here, these represent uh, the the extent to which we borrow from our own piggy bank and the duration of borrowing from our piggy bank, right? The, the height or the depth of it represents how many we borrow from our piggy bank and the width of the inverted triangle, they reflect the duration of borrowing from our own piggy bank. And they are going to be very minuscule so that we are not too concerned with uh, calculating the averages of these and finding the area and subtracting off and so essentially we don't have to bother with that. We just say that the cost will be simply uh, held constant. We are holding, we are paying uh, H dollars per tire per year holding Z times Sigma DL number of tires which is the average stock level throughout the year. Yeah. So we simply multiply by Z times sigma of dl number of tires so that's it that's our uh, annual total cost of managing the inventory in order to meet changing demand probabilistic demand on a continuous review basis all right so this is the total annual cost